As with all my portraits, after spending some time getting a feel for my client's background and interests, I take a number of digital pictures to get a pose that suits both of us. We narrowed it down to just a few shots, and we both liked this one best for the body position. But I wanted a more direct look from the face for a stronger impact. So this was the final choice. He flew an F-86 jet during the Korean War, so that was a natural to be somewhere in the background. Luckily on the internet, I found one with the exact same markings as the one he flew. I stripped out the room behind him and positioned the jet for a nice balance in a deep blue sky. After a fairly detailed sketch on the canvas, I started laying in rough color, starting with the sky and sweater. Then came the chair and airplane. Now, since most of the canvas was covered with approximate colors and values, I could work on the head. Here's a closer look at the face. I finished the hands and began finalizing the entire painting. It was looking good, but there was something missing. Maybe too much empty sky. Back to the internet, where I found the perfect shot of an actual Korean jungle to fill the scene. I now felt there was a lot going on in this picture. So I darkened everything down around the head to make it become the center of interest. And here's the finished portrait. Check out my website at this address to see more of my work. And contact me at this address if you would like me to paint a memory for you.